welcome back to the self made all channel that's a 2003 i believe it is dodge dakota it's got the big 3.7 liter in it she's two wheel drive with a stick shift uh customer complaint is they put a transmission in it or no they put a clutch in it sorry and after that it didn't run um and that's all i know we just push it inside sma's most eligible bachelor is this an 03 j is plugging in the scan tool 07 2007 non-hemi dodge ram I don't even know what we're talking about at this point. Doesn't run. Let's figure it out. Well, our eligible bachelor is uh, hooking up the scan tool here. There are some things that are missing. This is just how we received it, so no air intake. Uh, so that the only thing, which well, is not a big deal, we'll run without it. Intake air temp sensor is open here. Looks like a brand new throttle body. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe it has uh, throttle body codes. Uh, that's what you do when you get the code. <laughs> So we'll see. I don't know what could have went wrong through the clutch changing process. Uh, my initial thought is I think the crank sensor on these is in uh, the bell housing. So perhaps that got snapped off. But uh, now that I say that, I see I think this is the connector for it. And that looks like a pretty shiny new wire. So maybe they put a new crank sensor in it too. Didn't get much information from the fella. Uh, but we're going to take all that stuff that we know. And we'll stick it right in our back pocket because you don't want to go guessing based on what you know the customer did we're going to follow the facts what's up this bill rise the paperwork and she writes you're the best husband a woman could ever have well this is pretty deep jay got our codes pulled up here intake air temp sensor that's because it's unplugged that we know um electronic throttle control unable to open but that's new so we know that's good and then ASD main main board, the main board shot. <laughs> Just kidding, folks. Uh, all kidding aside, intake air temp, that's going to be there because it's open circuited. Uh, these two we're going to be concerned with. Mostly this one, uh, this auto shutdown relay, that's a pretty big player on the Chryslers. Uh, the 685, that's what we're going to look into. I believe the auto shutdown relay, that controls a lot on these little guys. So let's focus our efforts on there. And that will probably resolve this. I'm assuming, but this is where we're going first. I was sitting here to look up some data and Jason made a good point telling me that I'm an idiot that the crank sensors do not go into the bell housing on these. Uh, these three sevens are the infamous ones that go on the side of the block. So I don't know what connector I'm looking at in the back. And then it just goes to show that you guys can't trust me even though I tell you to trust me. So we had to put the battery charger on it. We've got it set to nuclear. Uh, the only setting a battery charger has around here. <laughs> now I pulled up the auto shutdown relay information. So the desired state, you know, what the uh, FICM is command, or yeah, yeah FICM, TIPM or ECM, whoever controls it, you know, what it's commanding to turn this thing on. And then I believe the filtered switch state is the actual. So I think this is desired and this would be seen as actual. And I command it on and it says the desire is on but the filtered switch state remains off so that tells me like hey it's not you know turn it on exactly as it says i've yet to look up a wiring diagram to see what it runs jason's got the cover off the fuse box right now and he's pointing to the relay so let's go see what we see so where is it at jay this one. okay so he says that's the auto shutdown relay and he also says there's a fuse for it this one here it's a big honker oh, sorry this one here is it blown can you see on top of it it is blown, yes. It is blown? Yes. Awesome. Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I'm ruining my life. So it's a big uh, J-case fuse. So Jason's going to pop that out. We go upstairs, Josh, and grab us one of them at 30 amp J-case. Oh, you son of a... Ha! He broke it live on camera, folks. Here we go. I'm going to zoom in on it so you can <laughs> see your hack work you're doing. Uh, so there she is. Boy, she's, she blasted right open to me. Man, you see that? Can you see in there? So she's split open. So that's junk, standard, classic 30 amp J caser. Uh, my boy Josh going upstairs to get us one. This is going to be expensive. There's three dudes working on this thing. Mm. 85 bucks an hour times three. The accountant's not liking this one. Wow. Uh, so what we'll do, um, I think we won't play, we we're not going to play stupid. We're not going to plug a fuse in. Jason's going to go in the middle locker right there he's going to get us our fuses our uh, circuit breakers we're going to plug a circuit breaker in and see if that blows because if something happened in the process here of the clutch job and uh smoking the fuses 
I want to know about it before we go popping JK's fuses. And I just set it right over here, Jay. Set down the nuke. And then in this little guy, we I think we got ones with female. Will that fit on the fuse? Or that one? Let's see if that one fits. So he's gonna try to fit that down in the box. Now it does not have a fuse in that loop right now, but we got a 30 amp circuit breaker will stick in its place. It's providing that we can get that in there. There you go, stick that in the fuse holder. It's quite the rigmarole we got going on here. Day I bought this tool, boom, fan. Fan or some burned it or something. All I remember is I had to tape it. I wasn't really happy about it. So these are 30 amp circuit breakers. This is a Mac Tools one. I don't know who really makes it for them. Not Mac Tools. All right, so I'm gonna turn it off. I'm gonna toggle it off and then we're gonna see if we hear any sizzling. Well, it didn't blow the breaker right away. So now we'll look on scan data. We'll turn it on. Oh, it turned on. Now we just wait, look for smoke and wait for this to blow. <laughs> uh, we could stick a, um, a fuse buddy in there and see, let me get one. We'll see how many amps it's drawn. So we're gonna use this little guy. We're just plugging it in. I've got a 20 amp fuse in this. Um, so we're just gonna take our circuit breaker out being that we know it's not a dead short. Shouldn't blow our 20 amp either. Famous last words. <laughs> Stick that baby in there. Uh, we got her zeroed out. Um, so let's see here, we'll turn it on. Uh, let's see, on, and there we are. We're drawing five amps, four amps. Must be, I think that runs the fuel pump and stuff. So probably that initial inrush of current was the fuel pump. But I think we're okay, we're okay to start it. Uh, so we're gonna shut it off. You wanna do the honors, Jay? See if sure. this thing runs. Silly as it sounds, uh, this is kind of a silly video. Turn the lights on. Got the classic money light back, huh? So we went through and did an electronic throttle relearn. Did an ECU reset. We'll, we'll see what code she's got stored in it. None detected. Intake air temp. So yeah, it's only code stored in it, so. But the throttle light went out, that's no longer flashing. All right, that's it, folks. Uh, <laughs> don't know why or when or who or where or what. We just make them how we see them. Well, that's it, folks. This can make you walk. I uh, don't know why it blew, and um, but I know right now it's not a high amperage draw and it's not a dead short, so I don't know if something got goofed up in the process. Maybe when the trainee's out of it, things unhooked, key got turned on, something was touching where it shouldn't, and you know, who knows the rest of this history. Remember step one, disconnect your negative battery. Always follow that rule. Uh, and it's, you know, silly, something silly like this uh, could happen. Uh, and that's it, really not much we can say about this one. Sorry for this short video. We can always hope for something epic but you just see what we see. And I wanna see you in that comment section. Tell me the silly things you've done and overlooked working on cars uh, in your life or some of the simplest repairs that you've done where something like this. While well, you're down there, subscribe, the bell, the Insta, the Facebook. And just remember viewers, I can do it. We can do it. You can do it. Thanks for watching.